Hey, what's up? I'm Sean Elmore. I'm a pop culture artist and painter, and today I'm gonna experiment a little bit. I'm doing something a little different. I know I say that like every other video, but I'm gonna be painting Emma Chamberlain using Chamberlain coffee. Um, first of all, I love coffee. Second of all, I love Emma. Third of all, I love her coffee, so it just makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so first, I have to brew some coffee. I ordered two blends from her website because she was doing a sale, and I'm a sucker for a bargain. Let's go brew it before I start painting. <laughs> Coffee's here, bitch. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it open. I ordered two blends. Ooh, hello. I got Careless Cat, which I have not had before. And I got Social Blend, which I have had before. And this one is my favorite. So that's why I'm gonna be brewing this one today and I'm gonna be using it to paint whatever's left over. So try not to waste, even though I could just drink it, but. It's for the video, it's for the content. Miss Carol's cat can sit to the side for now. A little brick tag thingy. We love an unboxing on this channel. First of Miley March now that it's like, uh, here, you wanna take a whiff? No. So even though it's winter, clearly I'm in sweats. I'm still making ice because gays only drink iced coffee. Only. This isn't a tutorial, so I'm not gonna walk you through it, but I'm just gonna make it and show you the fact that I'm blending. <laughs> I lost count. I think that was three. That looks like six, so we're gonna call it six. It's definitely twelve. <laughs> I mean, six scoops. <laughs> yes, it, it is twelve tablespoons, but it is six <laughs> scoops with the two tablespoon scoop. Eat my ass. <laughs> still tastes the fucking same, so. <laughs> but I'm still gonna like it because I'm still gonna put my almond milk in it and it's still gonna be over ice. Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? <laughs> R.I.P. So, um, this is the coffee I made. Um, I am definitely not going to be painting with this one because there's almond milk in it. The leftovers that I have from brewing it, I will be using for the portrait. So, let's get into it. <laughs> It's time for the moment you've been waiting for! Alright, so just like every other painting that I do, I slapped down my tape so I could hold it in place. Um, I started going in with layers and I just treated it like I normally do with a watercolor painting. Normally I use like a red alizarin crimson and do some layers with different colors, but I treated this like it was a black and white charcoal or graphite drawing and just really went in on the sepia tone, tried to make it look moody and sultry, which I say later anyway, but whatever. Um, I kept trying to go in with like smaller details because I thought that this coffee would not be workable or movable at all. And it turns out it actually was very movable. Um, as soon as I put it down, I would dip my brush in some water and just be able to rework it, soften some edges so it didn't look like she had crazy eye bags, which in the picture she did have eye bags, so it's like not terrible. But I didn't want her to look dead. I wanted this to be flattering still. So I did that. And um, blow drying this painting was incredible. Normally when I blow dry a painting, it doesn't really smell like anything except for the paper. But this has made my entire studio smell like coffee. It was incredible. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Definitely will be doing this again. Um, but yeah, I blew dry this one a lot because the layers were super, super washy and not opaque. So I had to blow dry it constantly to be able to put more and more layers. I think this painting with the coffee actually had more layers than when I do normal colors and like a normal full blown portrait. But now I'm going in with my microns and outlining the entire painting like I do with every painting that I do. I wanted this to be literally the only difference was it was painted with coffee. I wanted to treat it normally. I wanted it to look like a normal piece of my work. And I think it did. But yeah, the Micron really helped things pop. Um, in the hair specifically, there's areas that I wish the coffee would have got darker, but I think that if I were to rebrew the coffee and maybe let it steep for longer or something, it could be darker. But I think it's just the coffee was too washy for me to keep building up. And now I'm going in with my white gouache and adding highlights like I do with every painting because I want this to be cohesive with the rest of my work. A few minutes later. Again, slamming into everything all the time, but guess what? I'm back and I did it. That was me painting Emma Chamberlain using Chamberlain coffee. 
clearly you watched the video if you made it here. It smells fantastic. Sorry, Emma, that I'm sniffing your face. Before posting this video on YouTube, I posted this on TikTok and Instagram. She actually saw the painting on Twitter and on Instagram already. But, Emma, if you happen to stumble upon this video and see this anywhere and you want this original painting, let me know and I'll send it to you. I think I'm gonna make this like a regular thing that I try because I liked painting with the coffee. One, it smelled amazing. And two, it's just like, it was super easy to not have to worry about all different colors in a portrait and just like do it in one sepia toned looking painting. And it's kind of sultry and kind of moody. <laughs> Moody's point. But I love her as a person and I love her coffee. Oh shit, I just dripped on another painting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see me do more art stuff, more pop culture stuff, you let me know in the comments. But my name is Sean Elmore. I am a pop culture artist and painter. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, turn on my notifications so you know when I can irregularly post because it's irregular, let me tell you. I'm trying to work on that, I promise. I've been busy. If you like Emma, I hope you enjoyed this because it's Emma. So, all right, well, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>